Hey friends, it's Lydia with Applique Market. I wanted to show you some things about Embrilliance today. That's another software program, um, an embroidery editing program. Um, I'm going to show you how to get into the program once you've installed it. If you have installed the full version, um, you can use it in express mode and it is a free program. When you open it up, like I just did, it will pop up this box that says serial number entry. Press done. That's all you need to do. And then it'll give you another pop-up box, missing serial number. You know that. It's going to tell you it's just running in express mode. That's exactly what you want. Express mode is the free version of Embrilliance. Now, the only thing about the express version is that you can only open BX files, which would be just our font files. So keep that in mind when you're using Embrilliance. It's a great program. It's awesome just to have for the fonts. Um, it easily lines them up as you're about to see um, instead of using other programs where you have to bring each uh, letter file in one by one. So we'll press OK and I'm going to go ahead and maximize this screen. Okay, so to get started with text, we want to come up to the top where this letter A is and click on Create Letters. It's going to pop up a box with ABC. That's just kind of its default. So come over to the side over here where it says Properties and just delete out the ABC and type in the name that you'd like. Hit Set and it will change it over here in your selection box. And then in the font box, the font selection box right below, you are going to select whatever font you'd like. Um, so we'll just do the new kid print font. And all I did was click on it. Um, this It's brought in by file um, size, not file size, um, letter size. So we've got a 0.75 inch, one inch, one and a half, two, and two and a half. So you just select whatever size you want and um, it automatically changes it. Some other options when you're manipulating the text, you can slant it uh, to the left or right. And if you want to bring it back exactly to the uh, default, just click on this zero right beside the slider bar and it will bring it back exactly to um, how it was. And then you can um, space the letters out. Obviously, we wouldn't want them on top of each other like that, but you can spread it out a little bit. You can make them closer together. Um, just really a personal preference there. Um, if you're doing more than one word, um, say you were doing Charlie Benjamin. Okay, and let's um, make the size a little bit smaller so you can see it. Um, I would want to space this out a little bit. So the word space is going to separate the first word from the second word. So you can space it out a lot or you can bring it all the way together. Um, again, if you want to get it back to the default, press zero and it takes it back to where it was. Um, you can also <clears throat> make the name on an arch. Um, so you would click this button with the circle and all you do is um, pull this slider bar back and forth and you can see how it puts it on um, a radius and you just adjust this back and forth based on what size radius you'd like. Um, you can also put it on um, the box says place on bottom and that just means you're putting it on the bottom side of the circle. Um, so if I was doing this I would get this base slider space the the letters out a little bit so that you can um, read it a little better and there you have it um, you can also take any of these little green nodules 
and move them completely. So um, let's go back to just a straight line. So I'm going to hit the multi-line text bar and press set and it takes it back to the way it was. And um, you can see that maybe everything is lined up, but I just really want this A centered a little bit more between the two letters. I can move just that A if I want to. Um, you can, you know, if you're doing something really whimsical, you could, um, you know, move each letter like this. I mean, you can really customize it, um, you know, with however you're trying to do it. So after you get it the way you want it, um, you just file, save as, and um, rename it. And hit save. And you're all done. Hope this helps. See you next time.